Welcome to a new video of IELTS speaking test. In this video, I am going to give you some tips for the IELTS speaking test. So please watch the full video. Let's start. As all of us know that IELTS test is the language test. So everybody tries to do practice to get good band score. So the tip number one is that do your practice for the I speaking test every day and you feel that you are in the real exam room. In this way you will get a lot of confidence and as you know that confidence matters a lot in the I speaking test. Tip number two, as I said that you need practice to get good band scores in the I test, but don't repeat this routine at least one day before the test. The only thing you need to do is that you go to bed at 9 or 10 o'clock, try to get a sound sleep and if you are not going to sleep, please watch some video or film or play some games on the internet but don't repeat the practice of our speaking test. Tip number three. When you are going to take your eye speaking test and when you enter in the room to take the test on your turn, please be smile because your impression matters a lot for the examiner. So be happy and take your test in a really good mood. Tip number four, please sit on the chair while you are taking your I speaking test very attentively. If the examiner greets you, please reply the examiner very politely. And it is better that you greet the examiner first by saying hello sir may i come in the room and something like that tip number five try to give short answers of the questions in part one because this is the warm-up section for your eye speaking test so try to give short answers and to the point there are some routine questions which are asked almost each and every student in part one like can you spell your family name where are you from what do you do in your free time so try to give short answers but to the point Tip number six, which is related to your cue card, the part two, you have to focus on your topic, which is given to you by the examiner. Try to make the points and use a good vocabulary, paraphrases and synonyms. You can also use the complex and compound sentences to make a good impression on the examiner. Tip number seven. As we know that one minute is given by the examiner, which is an extra one minute to make notes on the cue card. Try to make good solid 
points on the topic because your good points help a lot making a good discussion on the topic so try to make good points for your good band scores in our speaking test tip number eight try to learn the tenses because the tenses play a vital role in getting good band scores in our speaking test so do practice in tenses and improve your vocabulary and try to use different words in different sentences tip number nine in part three the examiner tries to get your ideas and opinions so it is better for you that you start the answers of your questions by the words in my opinion in my point of view or I think so these words will have a good impression on the examiner and this way you will be able to increase your band scores number 10 in part 3 you have to give long answers of the questions because in this part you have to give your ideas and opinions about different topics so try to give long answers and try to use different kinds of words different kind of vocabulary and your sentences must be strong to give a good impression about your language proficiency tip number 11 try to give answers of the questions which you don't understand try to involve yourself in the test because when you will stop at any question or you say sorry in the reply of any question you will lose your confidence so don't stop at any question and never say sorry in the answer of any question and second thing is that don't worry if you don't understand any question because in our speaking test only one question will not be asked to you you should have a focus on the other questions so try to improve your confidence don't be panic tip number 12 take your time for one or two seconds for your answers don't be panic because when you will start panicking you will not able to answer the questions accurately so take your time for one or two seconds when the examiner asks any question and then you can start giving your answers i hope that you have understood all of the tips please like the video and subscribe my youtube channel